this episode of Finno Greek Machining it will be wipers and dials. So let's start with the wipers. Uh, this is one of uh, the wipers. <laughs> and uh, this uh, cross light has uh, four of them and the uh, tail stock, tail stock has uh, furthermore four of them. And uh, here we have a bag filled with uh, these are the original ones. Uh, these wipers are made from uh, nylon. And uh, well, the reason why they are made from nylon is that the nylon is not reacting on oils. Uh, uh, I used uh, uh, nitrile rubber uh, for these wipers and uh, it's known to swell with oil. Actually, the oil is not impacting it. Uh, it's the additives of oil that make it swell. But in this uh, application, it might be so that uh, it doesn't matter uh, if it swells a little bit. Uh, well, it becomes a little bit tighter. <laughs> and uh, then, uh, well, uh, you may, maybe you see, maybe not. In this bag we have also these punches I used to make uh, those rubber things. Uh, well, uh, let's see how I made them. They are actually working very well. They are leaving the stripes uh, in the ways like they should. Uh, so I know they are not just uh, uh, mushrooming the uh, dust and oil together. They are really wiping. Okay. The next step will be these dials, uh, which have uh, the original uh, group screws in them. And uh, this is actually very bad. Uh, uh, the one in the, in the compound was completely stuck because uh, it had been uh, been uh, screwed and then it had been marking uh, the shaft and after that it got mushroomed so I need to dismantle this and uh, uh, then uh, take uh, take the markings away the ding ding dingles away from the shaft and now it's rotating freely. But it's really rotating freely, so we need to have something to stop it uh, from rotating. Uh, this one as well, it has the scrub screw, but it doesn't have a thing that I will show you very soon. And what uh, we need is a thumb screw for each of them. And as the original setup also had these, I also made these off the camera. 
uh, these are made of brass and they go into into the hole uh, so that the scrubs, uh, scrub screw is not uh, marking uh, the shaft but uh, it's facing this uh, brass thing. I will uh, use this 16 mm cold or steel. Portion of it will be 5.2 mm and then the major diameter for the thread itself it will be 5 mm. And then I uh, part it off or thread it with a die. <laughs> and after that I will uh, cut it off so that I have enough material to hold it in the, lay, in the milling machine to make the flats for the uh, thumb screw. Well, uh, let's do that.
Okay, uh, that's uh, about it. Uh, now I don't need a, a screwdriver uh, to lock the uh, dials. And yeah, uh, it was actually quite uh, hard uh, when uh, the locking mechanism, was, mechanism is under and you have to loosen it. Well, uh, uh, I believe this is something that every, uh, every violin owner has uh, solved uh, in some way. Okay, uh, in the next episode of Finno Greek Machining, uh, well, let's see what it will be. Uh, I think I will figure out something. <laughs> uh, till then, see you!